Hello everyone and welcome to a first look of the newest Train Sim World 3 release, the Edinburgh to Glasgow line by Rivet Games. Uh, which yeah, very much looking forward to. You can see the train just here, the 385. And I should say a big thank you to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. But so, let's just get straight into it. Right, so here we are in the cab. Let's get the HUD on. Uh, let's get the train set up. So we've got the master key. Let's get that in. And let's set the uh, driver direction switch, I suppose that is, uh, to forward. And then we'll do the doors on the left hand side. Listen to that, awesome. Right, um, I think it, what everyone's waiting for is probably the announcement. So let's do it. Uh, let's come down to here. You've got the TMS. Uh, as you can see, it's red because the doors are open. Our login. Oh no, let's do the year. So 2023. Don't like it. There, login. Oh, well, enter probably, and then log in. There we go. So you can see we're only four coaches long. Uh, one Romeo 16. It gives you put up all the information, I suppose. And we're going to be calling at Croy, Fulkirk High, Colmont, Linlithgow, Haymarket, and Edinburgh, Waverley in around sort of 50 minutes' time. Uh, oh, we got door selection. Oh, can we actually block out doors? I think we can as well. Uh, well, we won't have a go of that just yet. Um, but that is certainly something we will do. Um, we've got DAS. Uh, I suppose it's about sort of what position we're in. I say you probably want to keep it on that, don't you? Uh, driver assistance screen, maybe that is. Uh, and announcements, also lights, let's get them on. Auto announce. Uh, ooh, let's have a look. Um, customer info. Uh, Scorer service. Let's do that one. Uh, that one. There we go. Welcome to the ScotRail service to Edinburgh Waverley. Oh, yes. Uh, Should we do it again? Uh, next Welcome station. Welcome to the Scott Rail Service oh. to Edinburgh. Let's get the door shut. Uh, let's do that one. I don't know this is. No, I don't know. Arrive at. Oh, I don't know. Let's do that one. I want to listen to them all. We'll soon arrive at Croy. Wow, in 10 minutes. I'll try that soon enough. Right, uh, let's get that off. I guess there probably would be a guard. That's a funny uh, sounding uh, panel, or a uh, buzzer. Right, uh, actually before we do completely had, oh it's already on, cool. Don't remember doing that, but we obviously did. We're off. Goodbye Glasgow Queen Street. And the reason we are starting here because uh, there's another uh, Scottish route in the game and that is the Glasgow Cathcart Circle. So I thought why not start from Glasgow and then make our way sort of into even though this is all new. Oh, actually, before we do leave uh, Queen Street, this is Queen Street, which looks pretty magnificent. Um, yeah, Rivet really never let you down, really, with the modelling. Uh, but it's fantastic. You've got the pianos as well, which I said they were adding as well. Right, back to the train. I probably want to get AWS on. I didn't actually uh, have a look for that. I sort of just went straight away. Um, so once we're out of here we'll have a little hunt for that uh, let's go back to the home screen out we go though cool yeah I was sort of I was quite excited for this room when it first got announced but after playing the train sim classic version my sort of interest in which I'm straight up uh, it's a fantastic route and it's really really fast uh, I mean for the most part it is a hundred miles an hour which is like whoa it's quite a bit steep out of here as well. We'll do it though, we'll make it. And yeah, we are playing on the PC version. Uh, just sort of, yeah, because the console had a few bits and bobs which weren't up to scratch. But that's no biggie, because we're, we're on our way now. We're doing it. There we go, we're back. back. Uh, we make our way out of here. Uh, also, what we'll do is the AWS, yeah. Uh, where would it be? I'm trying to think where it would be. Um, okay, that's the contact signaler buttons, that's, that's good to know. Where can I find all the fuses? 
What should we do that across? It's a little bit naughty, but um Let's have a little look. There's a DRA. It's a cool looking DRA. Probably the other side, aren't they? Yeah, we'll leave that for now. I'll put that on once we get um, a bit further up. So mucking about a bit now. Let's get that up to, is that up to 60. So getting that up. Yeah, what does, I suppose, everyone think, I mean, I know what you just started, but of the train sounds so far, is that sort of in one of those uh, grudges, I suppose, people have had against Rivet in the past, is the sounds of the trains. The 484, that sounded fantastic, but other trains in the past obviously haven't been as great. So, I don't think so far, your initial thoughts, I suppose. There we go, that's that, that's that one with the control and the other one. There we go. And then we'll actually have a look for them in a second. Just send they're wrong. Wrong for now. And we also come up to the depot as well, we're just passing through now. So you see, there's quite a lot there, so hence the um, FPS drop. Yeah, that's all of the, that's the depot there in uh, Bathgate. to 70 to come into a little bit of a cutting awesome. yeah the route is 48 48 miles long I believe so it's not a small route <laughs> well obviously someone trains in one or bigger but it's you know one it takes about an hour from one end to the other which for me is sort of a perfect route and, you know, I don't really want to go for two hours or just half an hour. Just one hour is just it's perfect, the perfect time. And there are there's sort of a variation in services as well. You get your fast ones, you get your slow ones, eight coaches, um, which are formed with four fours, or I think you can get three coach sets as well. It's a nice amount. Hopefully you can hear me alright as well, because this train is quite noisy. And it almost sounds like there's a window open constantly. It's not. They go 100 miles an hour. Still up there as well. As we, uh, as we make our way, weave our way out to Glasgow. Cool. See, it's in four coaches. really change much when you're at 100. I think there's a 90, 95 somewhere along the line and it's back at, it's pretty, it's pretty much 100 most of the way. Um, so it's sort of, I suppose one of the fastest DC routes we have in the game. Well, yeah, British was it would be. Because I think there's only, um, yeah, there's hardly any. So yeah, I think it would become the fastest AC route. Because Cross City, that's 90, isn't it? Not as quick. But yeah, very quick. Although I've seen quite a lot of people mention, yes, it is one of those small window trains, but that's the UK trains. A lot of them are small window. That's uh, that back. The fall seems quite slow, so I'm bringing it backwards and forth. Yeah, look, this we are absolutely flying along. Scottish Express, which actually is the name of it, wasn't that Scott Red Express? This is great. Yeah, enjoy our train some classic, enjoy it on here. But it's a very loud wind sound though. I suppose you, you, you would get there from off, wouldn't you though? Know? Almost sounds like the windows open. Bishop's Briggs. I'm still not great with the stations on here. 
especially the sort of the ones within the Glasgow area. Uh, but yeah, it's like one big hell of a thing. Then um, yeah, Bishop's Brig. I think after this it's yeah, Croy, then Falkirk High, then Polmont, Linlithgow, Edinburgh Park, Haymarket, and Edinburgh Waverley. I think they said there was about ten stations on here. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, we're fine. I've got up there's bloody smudges on in the middle of the desk at the moment. And also because DSD on Train Sim Classic is E, so I press E and it's like ah. It's it's quite an annoying keybind when you're so used to uh, Train Sim Classic DSD, which is E, and E on this game makes you stand up. So um, yeah, so I'm just knocking everything around. Much come on, down you go. All right, let's uh, have a look at functionality. What what, what can we do? Um, can't use any of that. Can't obviously use the wiper. Hand square off, yeah, cam lights. Oh, and also there's neutral sections on this room as well, so we need to keep an eye out for them. Uh, down lighter. Uh, so there's cab light. Hand square off down, signal, door buttons. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. Obviously TMS, yeah, you can you can use that. Wipers, has light, in case some of them you can can't use the desk illumination one. Uh, AWS horn, which is a very good horn. Uh, well, we're really slow in light speed. We're going to be late, but that's fine. This is our first look. Um, I think we can turn that on for a second. Emergency stop, GSMR, no functionality. Uh, so I did think it might have some functionality after the Dovetail Games Cross C had functionality. Um, maybe that'll be an update, but they can update that post post uh, post launch. Uh, maybe if Dovetail, I suppose, maybe we'll be like, right, that's how we do that, that's how you do that. And maybe we'll see that. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would be cool. But that's only a little, little niggle there. Um, yeah, contact signal is this one. Uh, so that's sort of this side of the cab. Uh, yeah, so sort of the sort of standard functionality that the usual thing you can press. Adding the TMS as well, so that's sort of the the new bit here. It's usually that would probably just be a black screen, nothing on it. Cool. Now we'll start getting ready to slow down for Troy. And yeah, these little sidings you see here, these are to um, allow well, this is the trains in the classic version. You know, the slow trains would put in there. And the express would then bring us shoot past. So you, you might get that, I suppose, at some point when you run in. You might pull the side and have a train will shoot past. I should have probably done it at a slightly earlier morning service. I don't really like when the sun's sort of beaming straight. Well, no, it's early morning, but when the sun is sort of already quite high beaming down on the um, track. I suppose it sort of gives you that sort of an eye. I prefer sort of when it's more shaded. Slightly dimmer. And we're coming up to Croy. Uh, let's see how good the brakes are. Let's have a bit of brake sounds. Okay, sounds decent. It sounds sort of how an AC electric train probably should be breaking as we come up to Croy. So yeah, Falkirk High, which I think is our next station after this, that's sort of the halfway point of the route once we get there. No idea where the stop marker is. Um, so, oh, there it is there. Towards the end. I think it actually is at the end. But we'll take a look at each station. We'll have a little fly around at least. Maybe try and get a collectible as well. Because the collectibles on here are cool. And you'll see why. Right, that will do. Uh, let's get the doors open. There we go. I feel like we've heard that sound before, that, that same door opening sound from somewhere. 
not the four. No, we're not the four right four. Don't know. So yeah, this is uh, what we got: Croy, Recycle for Scotland. Um, what else we got? There's a couple of bike shelters. Oh, and you, apparently you can actually go into these um, waiting uh, rooms and stuff. That was sort of Rivet wanted to add sort of more freedom to explore. Um, so yeah, you can go into the little waiting shelters. Um, so you got the usual collectibles. Would have been nice to maybe see um, sort of what Dovetail are doing, the sort of real route maps, but that's fine. Uh, that's a collectible. There's another collectible there, which I think is an Edinburgh poster. Um, I've remembered something. I've remembered something. Right, let us out. I know some of you are probably like, right, just go, but this is something big, so we must do it. Let's. Um, that this is very important. We show this. Right, let's go, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. But the game now should have, should have, hopefully it'll be working. I say should, hopefully. Uh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Does it work? Hang on, I thought. No, does it, does it not? The game should have working elevators in it, unless maybe they've had to pull that out of this release. Oh, well, maybe, I mean, it's not really a big thing, but yeah. I'm pretty certain there was supposed to be working elevators. So, maybe it's some of them, maybe it's only at some of the big stations where you can use them. Uh, I right, probably want to get that shut, because we don't really want to be driving off of the cab door open. Uh, so, let's get that shut. Oh, it's got a nice sound to it. And full cut kite in just under 10 miles. I have to query about that. But yeah, as I said, this is a pre-release build, so that might be an issue. Maybe at the moment they haven't got the working elevators in, just to, I don't know, finish finishing touches, maybe. Or maybe it is only at sort of the main stations. Uh, so maybe once we get to Edinburgh Waverley, maybe they'll be working there. Um, not sure. But escalators, yeah, escalators should be in, if they're already on this route. Oh, we should have done the announcements actually. Uh, let's come on to here. Uh, auto announce. I don't think is there some way we can sort of just do it, let it do its thing. Mm, customer info. Uh, this train is full. Good look.
not easy to uh, maintain the speed though. There's no cruise control here either. Well, most British trains don't really seem to have cruise control really. Just don't really need them. Let's get a flower bus. I'm not too sure how well it's going to run. That said, we are on the PC version. I know usually we are on console for first looks. Um, so the last few releases we have been on console for the first look. But yeah, there has been a few sort of issues uh, on that side of things. So, uh, for PC. 100 miles an hour, there we go. to the end of the platform here. So as we say. Probably don't want to be entering really that quick. Where's the stop marker? Stop marker. Oh, it, oh it's to the end again. Okay, then. Every time I say it, it's probably not going to... Oh, no, 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 it, it's there. There it is. It's, it's hidden. This is going to be quite sort of hard to see. Right, hang on. Oh, look at that. 
near enough a perfect stop. Doors open. That goes to that. Hang on, no, it is the same sound as the 484. I swear that's the same sound the 484 makes when the doors open. Although that might just be how they are in real life. So. Great. Let's uh, get a little screenshot here. Edinburgh. Very, it's, it's a weird looking train, but then it's quite a sleek, sort of modern, futuristic looking design. It's alright. Right, have we got elev Oh, you can go in here as well. So, sort of as part of the opening up, I suppose. Is there an elevator here? I suppose possibly not. Let's get the door shut. I'll take a look at the passenger interior as well. A bit further along. Polmont next. So the stations are a bit closer to one another now. So you get um, two sub buses up there for the 385. You get the one we're in now, which is the 385 dash one, which is four coaches long. And then you, I think you also get the dash zero, which is three coaches long. So yeah, that's quite nice. You get two, uh, two of them. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can get that automatically though doing it, uh, doing the announcement. So I think on AI services it's automatic. It should be quite cool for sort of doing a passenger day. Sitting around as a passenger. Just over two miles. I've already been like a mile already since, since the station. These things are rapid. And it goes back up to 100 as well. We've got a new modern UK route. We've got completely new traction. 385. We've got announcements. Um, yeah, it's just, it's great. And we've got a route which is actually fairly quick. Uh, as opposed to the AC routes we've had so far. What well, we've got Circle 50 odd miles an hour. Cross City. That's very good. 90 though. But on here, 100 miles an hour. Finally, a fairly, well, not really, I suppose, high speed, but a quick UK AC route. Which is nice to see. And coming up to Pullman. Sort of one of these sort of late sidings here. Sort of where the slow train, I suppose, will come in. Probably need to slow down a bit quicker. I'm coming in quite quick. Fine, see the brakes are fine on here. The brakes are good. Well, I still don't really want to be coming in at full, see. There you go, nothing to worry about. This is Polmont. Now we're stopping there. Why is there a massive bundle of people coming up the platform? What have you been doing down there? The train won't be, well, we'll be down there, but not what they're doing. external camera and pass the marker. Typical that. Right, let's take a look at the passenger interior. I haven't really done that yet, have we? So let's uh, let's do that. Let's be a good driver. Let's set that to uh, let's get him. Oh. Uh, there. There we go. Let's see, what's this like? So they said about first class blinds automatically going down depending on the sun. Although it looks like they're all at the same level at the moment. And, oh no, hang on, no, no, they go. This one's a bit further down. Yeah, so that's sort of one of those little added things, little added bonuses. Good. 
I'm good that, that's good, uh, it's good to see they've changed that, although it's not smart PIS. Like we've seen on Brighton Mainline on the 377, 387, it doesn't scroll through the stations, which I'm guessing it probably does in real life. They have changed the writing though, because I, I remember it was yellow before, and people were like, it's wrong. Um, so yeah, I don't think we've got the smart PIS, as I call it. Uh, or smart CIS, really. That's No, smart, yeah, smart PIS. Um, so this first class, which really isn't really much of an upgrade to standard class, modern trains that is. Iron inboard seats, fantastic. You got the um, slightly different ones for the size of the priority seats. Toilets, nah, but that's fine. I don't think I want to see a train toilet in the game because train toilets aren't usually the nicest. Before we go though, so yeah, you can see that's really I suppose standard throughout. Iron inboard seats and iron inboard plus seats for first class. That's UK trains people. Comfort is not a priority. Let's get the doors shut. And the next station is going to be Linlith Go, which I don't think is far oh okay, four and a half miles. Wow. I suppose slightly less than some of the distances we've had so far. Uh, let's whack that straight into max. Let's see how fast it accelerates. If I can actually get it into there. Right, speed test. Oh, and we have got the CIS on the platforms as well. As you can see there, so you can see when the next train's coming. Let's go. Oh, well, look at that. I wonder if the CIS at stations is still saying train via Fort Kirk High. Because I don't think it would, would it? Because we're already past Fort Kirk High now. So we'll have a look at that. It's these little things, which aren't really biggies, but still, they all, I suppose, all add up. Let's uh, do another announcement. I'm feeling announce announcement ish. Uh, fast train. Fast train. Especially just went fast train. I'll have to try that again. The others. I believe they have got the real Scott Rowe announcer. You'll be lucky to hear it's not someone at Rivets going next station, Edinburgh. So it is the uh, real announcer. Right, I'm not sure you're going auto though. I have to sort of figure that. It says say auto announce, doesn't it? Yeah, hopefully it's, uh, I suppose, running all right-ish. Uh, I've actually managed to somehow put some of the graphics at Ultra uh, for the first, so I don't know how I mean, the PC's coping with it, but I suppose it's a fairly quietish route. Just remind me, we'll look at scenario services after this on the menu. Yeah, I've managed to uh, put the screen percentage up as well, so hopefully it's running and looking okay. 
So we're probably look as good as the PlayStation 5. But it should um, should be looking alright. Another train here as well, just gone straight through. I haven't seen any whistle boards though. So maybe there aren't any on this route. Well, here we are, Linlith Go, and I'll show you where the T's was in a sec. Which one of the elevator will work? Because I'm pretty certain that was one of the things on the route which were elevators. Although, as I said, pre release, maybe they're still working on the elevators. Weird thing to say, working on the elevators, but yeah. Let's have a look. So this is Lynn Left Go. Uh, so yeah, p p picture your mind back just before Christmas, I think it was. Here. Literally, right there. That was the sort of initial thingy of the room. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... So yeah, maybe in the end they haven't been able to implement it. Maybe it just, I know, constraints maybe. But it seems elevators don't work. Which doesn't really bother me because I wasn't really too bothered anyway if the heaters were in the game or not. Um, but yeah, it seems they, they might not be working. But it's an elevator. Right, the stairs for a reason. Right, Haymarket next. Let's get that right into full power. 15 miles. I'm due in there, well, as we're running late, probably about. We've got 15 minutes or so. Off we go, we've got another train already. Which I think there's about 200, 220 odd uh, 385 services. And then like way more as AI. And there's like two class 314 services, which we'll definitely have to do. That's one of the free car sets. Um, and then there's also, f uh, I think, one or two uh, class 66 services. Although it is the railhead treatment train class 66. So not, yeah, not the southeastern one, the railhead treatment train. Which the cool thing about train to mile 3 is, uh, you don't actually need to own southeastern high speed to get the railhead treatment train. So if you want, yeah, the two extra services, as well as it'll be £4.99 to get it, the railhead treatment train. I don't think we've actually come on to the price of it. The route is £29.99. There's not going to be a starter pack for it, as we've got to know at the moment. I suppose this is a pretty big route, not dovetail in house. Um, so, yeah, it is £29.99, pence, uh, which I think then converts to like $39.99, €34.99, something along those lines. And it will be out, well, if you're watching this, it will be out today. It was out on the 26th of January. Well, it, it should have been. Which it should be. So I'll be passing through, yeah, just Edinburgh Park, I think, on this stretch. Not too many stations along here. Out into the wilderness. Back up to 100 as well. Love this stuff. already. That was done in absolutely no time. I'll try and keep the speed. So we seem to lose it very, we've lost it very easily so many times now. Been up to 100 and been straight down to 80 next time I look. So maybe if we keep it in not two of power, just to try and maintain that speed. That might be the best thing to do. Once we get to Haymarket, from there it's just a couple of tunnels through, uh, and we're at Edinburgh Waverley. 
But point of interest, we will be passing. Uh, we'll be passing Edinburgh Park, so we should be able to see the trams there if they're in. Um, and also, once we get just past Edinburgh Park, we might also then see the Murrayfield Stadium. Uh, which I think it's the national team, rugby team, it's home ground. So yeah, we'll see that as well. It's so pretty much the Twickenham of Scotland. We've got an 80 coming up as well, as we're sort of getting a bit closer to uh, Edinburgh now. Yeah, that wind does sound... I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't like it. But that wind is really late. You can hardly hear the horn when you do it. You can't hear the announcements. I don't know. Chat. Is, I mean, would it be that loud? Wind, that sort of wind coming against the windscreen? It just sounds really sort of loud. Even in the tunnel, I don't think you would have sort of not as much there, would you? Sure, any sort of fine tweaks and stuff. As I said, pre-release. I'm sure they'll take feedback in as well. Um, so, I don't know what my cat's doing. She keeps bloody she sort of gets on the chair, doesn't move, then jumps off and goes back round. What's she up to? She's found a new spot. She's sort of just behind me on my chair. So it's like a sort of girl, um, a back support thing. As ergonomic chairs, so sort of uh, curls in a little bit, so she sort of sleeps in the little curl bit. Which is good, as long as I'm keeping her well, she's pretty much an extra cushion. Eight and a half miles, that's the 80. And we've got 100 coming up again. Another train already. There we go. So yeah, we're not going to get there on time. That ain't happening. Yeah, more speed, more power. Oh, this would be nice. This is one of the, uh, I think this is the double viaduct. Or near enough to the double viaduct. Yeah, it seems to be a very laggy texture somewhere. I've been like on the um, 5, was it or on Apple, somewhere on the 523, sort of where there's that one texture on the roof which makes it really laggy. And then you've got another, is it not the double one? Maybe it's not. But that was one of the um, sort of big bridges on the roof. to Edinburgh Park Station and then we can see, hopefully, if that's still in, the AI trams. Although as elevators are in, are they be in? Well I think they are, because I've seen that from a bus and just saying they're cool that they're there. But no, I have to ask about the elevators, or maybe it, maybe it just is at the main stations, because we didn't see Glasgow, Queen Street, but I doubt there would be elevators there. Um, yeah, we'll have to put Six and a half miles to Haymarket. Haymarket, as I said, it's sort of right in the middle of Edinburgh, so... Uh, there's only six miles away. We should start soon coming into the uh, sort of more built-up area. Soon enough as well, we'll see the Fife Circle line joining up bus, or the, I suppose, the Scottish East Coast Main Line. Um, so 
coming up soon. You've got the dioramas there that you can see a couple of people standing there. That's nice to see. Nice to see they're back. Okay, no trams at the moment, though. We should see it on, on, on the route. They should run along the side, so we'll see them over there in a sec. That's be some sort of high res texture somewhere. You can see it's sort of laggy a little bit when we come out into the external cam. to the right hand side which is quite hard to we may see a tram if you see a tram shout tram we'll get out and have a look none at the moment though i think that's the five circle line joining us there i'm determined to see a tram We got like a bad time when it's like completely quiet. Like going there, just crossed over. We are tram spotted. There probably is actually a thing that tram spotted. It's just down there. Okay, sort of within our eye lock. What's that? Is that a tram? What's that there? I'm more interested in trams now. There's a tram, there's a tram, there is a tram. Everyone shout tram. There's a tram, there's a tram. There it is. Well, there we go. That, that that's cool. That was worth it. And here is the uh, Murrayfield Stadium up here on the left hand side. Actually, I think it's home to the Scottish national rugby team. Just like that. It's pretty good. And only one mile to Haymarket, and that was a neutral section there as well. Oh, that's good. I haven't seen any warning. Sections. Um, you should have seen the warning boards for them. I could be mistaken; they might be there, but I haven't seen any yet. Uh, you should, I think, get the you should get the black warning board, and then the white board is where they sort of you know you should be in ready to. I haven't seen any warning boards for them. Unless maybe there aren't any warning boards for them up here, but I think there would be. This is Haymarket Station, so we pretty much are at the end of the journey. Uh, just literally through the tunnel, and then that's Edinburgh Waverley. Was there a forecast stop, Mark? It says there was. Hang on, was there a, a forecast stop? Not hidden, is it? Why are there no stop markers here? Oh, oh well. Wow. There's no stop markers here. Which I'm guessing that I would be in real life. <laughs> wow. Oh, elevators as well. Let's check. 
No. Yeah, so I think, I'm guessing maybe they've had to scrap the elevators, unless maybe they are still working on it. Um, but yeah, it's not really a big thing, is it, really? Edinburgh Waverley. From the four coaches. So they're fairly free, right? that's like every five minutes on there. Ooh, that's sounding funny. So not all of them go to Glasgow Queen Street, so that one's going to Dunblane. So there is AI as well. Right, and then Edinburgh Waverley. And what we'll do once we get to Edinburgh Waverley, we'll obviously take a look at the magnificent Edinburgh Waverley station. How could we not? It would be criminal not to. Um, and then we will have a look at the scenarios available, the services included, that lovely stuff. And why is that train still really short of the platform? Unless that's another train sitting behind it, maybe. And then we go. This one's just trying to get round. It's just coming round again. But yeah, hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. And that's, yeah, obviously, big thanks to Dovetail. I was going to say Rivet as well for giving us the key to show it off early. Apologies, it wasn't on the console. Um, but yeah, there was a few sort of little bits which weren't quite right yet to show the console version. So we're doing it on the on the PC. And as it comes out on a Thursday, which is one of my long days, I thought, well, I'll get it done uh, on here just so I know it's all done and all ready. So we don't have any chance of missing it. So it's actually she's coming back again. Cat has done another loop. It's like the fourth, fifth or sixth time in this video. And we got a double yellow. I think there's no AWS sort of coming in. I've seen it before, it's on the Trains in Classic version. It's all got the little AWS and sort of cross sign. But yeah, this is Edinburgh Wave. This so we're causing a massive train jam here. Also, it shows you how busy it is. You can see the. Oh, what's that called up there? Oh, I can't remember it now. I think it's some sort of art museum. I'm probably completely wrong there. The, yeah, National something art collection of Scotland. Oh, Smudge, Smudge, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like pushing, trying to push me off the chair pretty much there. If you don't know how I'm talking to, it's my cat. If you don't know Cat Ace, she's always trying to bloody get on the chair, on the desk. Fair enough, really. And this is Edinburgh Waverley, uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be a bloody 2D cutout of sort of the town and the city centre. Because on Train Sim Classic, it's, it's literally just a 2D cutout. So on Train Sim World, you can't really get away with. Well, you can obviously put in Slope Corridor, but that's different. Train Sim 3, I mean. We made it, that is a whole line run of the new route. What has everyone thought about that? That was fast, swift, electric, modern. That sums it up, really. That was good, that was uh, not really sure what we're stopping, obviously, before the red light. Before the red light sounds good. I suppose this then terminates and goes back, so that's a good thing. I suppose you could probably sit on the same train near enough all day just going backwards and forth. Which again is um, obviously a very good thing. Uh, let's set that to neutral. Yeah, buzz buzz. Uh, do that. Bit of horn, because why not? Uh, set the tail lights and let's take a look at Edinburgh Waverley Station. Um. Queen Street call, 8.45. So we can find. Now there was actually... Yeah. We'll have a little look. 54 minutes, 47.2 miles. And that's not too bad. We've got a silver medal, probably because we were late. But yeah, that is fine. 
Why does it have to include those three words there? SCR. Um, right, return to free roam. Oh, hang on. Or maybe instead of every station having elevators, it's only the big boy one which has elevators. Right, let's get out. Thanks, train. That goes back at eight fourteen for another run back to um, back to. Uh, ah, yes. Here we go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> they even added elevator music. If we get stuck. You feel it going up in every fin. And it's, it's got music in it as well. Let's do that. I mean, that is. That's pretty cool. Um, so it only seems like the sort of, I suppose, major stations have it, which is fine. Uh, that is completely fine. Is it there? That's it. We've got to go down again, haven't we? I think this is the way you can sort of what it you you can you can feel it as it sort of takes you down. Oh, I like that. And this is Edinburgh Waverley Station, which looks fantastic. And we can go past the gate line, which does seem to be much of a gate line. Um, oh, and this I think it's a, oh, it's not a collectible. Welcome. Three one fours, yeah. Um, let's have a look. What? Where can we go? Oh, we can go up here. This is one of the ramps. How far can we go? No, in River, we'd probably go all the way into the city centre. Let's just have a little look. How far can we actually go? It's weird though, because yeah, it's sort of like we go through the roof of the station and down sort of into the concourse. Now this looks good. Same bus which was used on the uh, many many routes. Oh wow. This looks better than what I was expecting. Look at this though. It's not all 2D like Train Sim Classic. That is um, that's awesome. And you've got the other ramp down there as well. I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. What would sum up the route? Fast, clean. I don't know. How would you sum up the route? So, oh, my God, can we go on the roof? Just, just go on the roof, be sneaky. Okay, we can't go through there. Let's go back down into the main station. And there's the castle up there, which to me looks completely fine. Look at that, that's, that's awesome. Let's head down at night time, probably looks even better. But we'll do that for a separate separate time. Let's head back down. I want to try and find some of the collectibles because we've only found the poster and the uh, map so far, which we obviously haven't actually collected. But apparently they've got like haggis plushies and stuff like that, so would be nice to try and find one. How do we get... Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, escalators, they're not working. That means it's really matter too much. Yeah, it says one of the collectibles, but I want to find one of the um, sort of unique ones to this route. Oh, there we go. There's a bagpipe. Look at that. Bagpipe's discovered. And if we can find a piano as well, we'll just, just have a little look at that. If not, we'll go back to Queen Street and have a look at that. Uh, okay, so we've got the bagpipe, uh, bagpipe collectible, and there's also a haggis plushie, which you can find. Does this one work? Okay, that one doesn't work there, but that's that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's go into this little cafe over here, and we've got the waiting room, which is, seems to be there as well. Can we can we actually go? <laughs> oh, okay, you can't go in there. That's fine. Oh, here's a piano. What can we do with it? Oh yeah, don't know what tune this is, but oh yes, best piano player there is. And look, we have got a fully working big CIS board, which looks fantastic. Um, right, what else? Let's have a look at the waiting room. As yeah, that was sort of one of Rivet's things they wanted to allow player. Okay, you can't go in there, but wow. Floor looks a bit weird, but yeah, look at that. Awesome. Well, I think that probably does um, sort of conclude this. Uh, we'll have a little look. Oh, this is sort of the, the biggest station there is. Got one of the other collectibles. Welcome to Scotland. You've got the uh, Highland Cow there as well, ball, whatever it is. 
Awesome. Right. Let's um. Let's take a look at what the what you can enjoy on the route. What there is to do. How many services, scenarios, journey chapters. Let's take a look. Right. So this is what you got to tinker with on the route. You have got five scenarios. Time to Glasgow. High grounds. Don't miss the round. Snow drifting on rails and one step to freedom. Um. And then. Yeah, then you've got 224 services, that being, well, 156 on here. Yeah, it says a 156 there. Um, then you've also got the, um, also got the, uh, how much you got them installed, but I think you've got like two railhead treatment train services, and I think two class 314 services. Um, obviously, yeah, in another video, you will see that. And then for journey mode, I think you have to go all the way back, don't you, for this? Uh, you've got 46 uh, on here. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there we go. People make class go. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for the first look of um, of the uh, of the line uh, Edinburgh to Glasgow by Rivet Games. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, I shall sure have. Uh, obviously, big thanks again to Dovetail Games for giving us a... Uh, an early look at this but yeah thanks all for coming in links can be found in the usual places discord paypal merch store and i'll hopefully see you next time see you all and take care bye guys